You guys might be witnessing like the moment I'm taking off the appear list. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Y'all, we're still here. We're, we're still opening February. We're still opening calendars in February. We have this one and then I think I'm gonna do like a finale video where I open up just like five at once. And then that might be the end of having calendars. You guys have been so incredibly sweet. So sweet in the comments. Like, it's fine. Just keep them going to the end of the year, to the end of, you know, the next decade, to the end of time. Which for a while there, it did feel like I could go for an in eternity. Okay, you guys, I am actually so nervous to do this calendar today. This is the very first time I am unboxing and doing a video of a calendar that a company has sent me. Now, this isn't a sponsored video. Like, I'm not being paid to talk about this advent calendar. Basically, Jouet, like, sent it to me and they're like, here you go. It's a calendar. Enjoy. You know, that kind of thing. Like it wasn't, there's no contract involved or anything, but I hope they know if they've seen my advent calendar videos. And I'm not, I'm going to be very honest about how I feel about every single advent calendar. Sent to me, not sent to me, paid $1,500 for it, paid $20 for it. Like the, I'm going to say what I think about the advent calendar. So uh, I'm just, I'm just nervous because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. You guys might be witnessing like the moment I'm taking off the appear list. That's okay. If, if that's what happens, that's what comes out of this. It is fine. I'm gonna tell you guys what I honestly think about every single advent calendar. How much does it cost? Ooh, okay, so I'm having a really difficult time finding like actually how much this advent calendar costs. They're saying it's a $210 value, but they are also saying, which I've now somehow lost it. They're also saying a countdown the holiday season with a limited edition calendar filled with best-selling full-size products and exclusive items. So here in several minutes, we'll find out together why grammar is so very important and that uh, no, this box did not promise to have all full-size items in it. That, that was my bad. So I personally think it's really nice when a calendar does something that's like exclusive to the calendar. We rarely, if ever, see it. Have we ever seen that? Chanel. <laughs> that's a bad, that, that's a bad example. Having something exclusive to the calendar you can only get inside of the calendar, I personally think adds value because you can't just like go to the store and buy it yourself. You have to purchase the calendar. That makes it a little bit more unique, a little bit more desirable. Something like a Kylie advent calendar, like how it had absolutely no value and you could go to the site and buy all those things yourself for the same price as the advent calendar. If that advent calendar had been full of exclusive of items you can only get in that advent calendar but technically the value is like still the same but I personally think there would have been a value there because you can't just like go to the website and buy them yourself so if there are exclusive items in here all full-size items that's that's a, that's a good start I really wish I knew how much it was though. okay I think I found that was spooky. My bedroom door is open and I can see the reflection of the mirror with the headboard and my husband has a hat hanging on the side of the headboard. There looks like a, there's a man. It looks like a man right there. Even Tater's barking at it. <laughs> that was scary. So from my research, I have found this is a $150 advent calendar and you get a $210 value. That isn't the most amazing ratio I've ever seen for what you pay for the calendar and then what you receive in value, but it is like 60 bucks and it's supposed to be full-size items and exclusive items. So that might, that's something there. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get on into this. I do like the packaging. It's like a nice kind of iridescent holographic little burst in the middle. The packaging on the inside is fairly plain, but it does look really nice, just kind of like elegant and minimal. Oh, that's handy. It's got like a little yankin ribbon. Then I get number one here of the Jouet Advent Calendar. Oh, it has a nice weight to it and it's bubble wrapped. Oh, okay. I might actually really like this. So the very first thing we have in here is a setting powder. It's a soft focus hydrating setting powder. I've been looking for something to put under my under eyes. It doesn't make them look crusty. I've been using this by Terry one because it says it has like hyaluronic stuff in it so I thought that would be kind of hydrating for the under eyes but I'm still looking a little bit crusty so um maybe this will help. Tris translucent. Well this also has hyaluronic acid in it and it has vitamin E as well. Ow! <laughs> maybe don't use a dental pick to open up things especially if you're holding the really pointy end. I don't even know why this is setting up here. <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh the packaging is really nice. I think I've tried a few things from Jouet before but um I like this packaging. Again just kind of like muted, simple, minimalistic but a little bit elegant looking. Oh is that the same kind of color as my shirt? Not really. Oh, so there's a nice looking mirror on the inside and then don't show all the junk on my table. <laughs> we have the little press powder there in the main part of the compact with a really nice little design stamped into it. It does feel really soft, like really finely milled. I am looking a little shiny, a little bit greasy. So maybe I could use this just to kind of touch up on like the grossest beauty blender ever. Okay, <laughs> I do think that definitely helped me uh, bring down the shininess a little bit. I might've gone just a touch heavy handed with it though. It's, it's a little bit white on the side of my nose a little bit. If I gotta pat that out a bit more. It does feel very smooth and like not drying or anything, so that's good. All right, nice, so first product down, let's go ahead and move on here to day number two. Ooh, this one also has like a nice weight to it. 
how do boxes work? So it looks like we have a little blush duo here. That's nice. I'm wondering if it's gonna be in the same pretty packaging as the powder, because I really like that. This is a blush bouquet in rose gold. The packaging of the blush, it's also kind of nice. I really do prefer this packaging here. I just think this looks a little bit more like elevated, but I mean, this is cute as well. Oh, okay, so this one also has a nice big mirror there, and then we have two shades. Uh, this one does seem fairly pale, and this one's a little bit on the deeper side. So we have rose petal and marigold. Marigold has like a little bit of a shimmer to it. Oh, I think rose petal does too. <laughs> I'm so far away from the camera. <laughs> I'm laying it on two legs in this stool. If it kicks out from underneath me, I'll leave it in so you guys can experience it. No hands balance and my tummy is just holding onto the table. Okay, so here we have marigold and this is rose petal. Rose petal is definitely on the pale side, but marigold actually shows up a bit like kind of peachy and I think that's really pretty. I think I prefer like the oranginess, peachiness of this than I do that really pale pink. Both of them do have a bit of like a golden shimmer to them and uh, I think they're both really pretty. I haven't been wearing a ton of blush and I know that's strange because I love blush. I love looking like I always say in 1980s glamour shots, but I've been noticing due to just the loveliness that is my skin, whenever I put on like bronzer or contour or anything like that, my face just turns red anyway. So why, why do I need to have blush? And I swear it's not just like the contour or the bronzer that I use, it's every single one. Like as soon as I start swirling it on, I'm like, oh, it's red. So I have been wearing a lot of blush because I feel like my cheeks already just get rosy enough on their own, uh, but I do think these are pretty. And if I were to wear one of them, I think it would be the marigold. Day number three is up next here. This one's feeling very suspiciously light. Can you guys also hear the, the, you know, the absence of sound? Oh, that's just because it's wrapped in like 50 layers of tissue paper. Ah, and it's also a squeezy tube, uh, a pretty, pretty small squeezy tube. I thought everything inside of this calendar was supposed to be full size, so I'm assuming, even though it is really little, that this is a full size product. Oh my gosh. Essential lip enhancer, conditioning, lip treatment, and sweet mint, okay? I feel like this is so small. Mm, tasty. It does taste pretty good on the lips. I mean, there's definitely a mintiness to it and there's also a sweetness to it. Hints sweet mint. Uh, kind of reminiscent of the uh, Chinese buffet melt in your mouth after dinner mints. It feels pretty nice on the lips as well, but it is only 0.15 fluid ounces. And I just feel like that's such not a Day number four is up next here. Also feeling a little lightweight. I feel like I've been tricked. <laughs> Have I been tricked? Again, I've never had this product before, but I feel like that can't be the full size of it, right? Maybe the internet has lied to me, which wouldn't be the first time. This is a long wear lip cream. The color, it looks okay. It's a little bit on like the pale muted purple side for me. Um, I do like the fact that it is long wear. It's in the shade Dolce. Um, I can give it a little bit of a swatch. I feel like it's just gonna be too light for me, unfortunately. I mentioned the other day that I'm not a huge fan of lip products that have like a milky base to them, like a very creamy white milky base. And I had a comment there like, what do you mean milky? Um, I don't know exactly how to explain that. But basically more of the like pastel look to lip products I'm not a fan of. So if it has like a strong white base to it, like it looks very opaque and kind of a pastel -y. Does that make any sense? Which I personally think this does. Like it just has like a lot of white pigment to it. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, hi guys. Okay, so I look slightly different than I did just moments ago and that is because this is a, it's a different day. So the thing is I started filming that video kind of later on in the evening and then my husband came home and then I made dinner and then I had to do some work for the store and then we started watching The Last of Us and then I went to bed. So um, th th this is a different day. I got up early in the morning the next day so I could film the rest of it, edit it for you guys and hopefully get it up today. So, um, let's go ahead and get back into the video. Do I know where we last left off? This gives me a hint. This gives me a clue. Uh, because the swatch is still there. So, uh, we were talking about this. This is, this is day number something. Um, it does last a good long time. And as I was doing my makeup this morning, I used the translucent setting powder. I do think it is a little bit like, just like white. It leaves a little bit of a white cast, but it feels really good on the skin. What's the lowest number inside of this box? Five. Wow. I didn't get through many boxes today. Also, I'm keeping all this fancy schmancy wrapping paper. I'm going to use this for presents and things. All right. The next item we have in here is the Hydrate and Repair Moisture Mist. Moisture Mist. pH Balancing Mist with Blue Light Protection. You guys know how I feel about blue light. I feel as if it is fake. <laughs> I feel as if it is not gonna do anything to your skin. I mean, I guess it can keep you up at night if you're like looking at your phone, you know, scrolling on TikTok or something for several hours before you go to bed. Not that I ever do that. Not that that's something that I personally ever do, um, but the blue light from your phone can like keep you awake and stuff and kind of impact your eyes. But for your skin, I don't know if that's real. Okay, I'm back again. Battery just died. 
my camera's crooked. We will eventually get through all these products, I promise you guys. A hydrating moisture, why do I keep wanting to say moistra? Moisture mist, Um, it's not also very large. I don't know if this is the full size of the product, but it is not very large, it's one fluid ounce. And it says you're supposed to spray it in your face every couple of hours, so I feel like this is not gonna last a long time, like if every two hours you're like dousing your face some moisture. Moving right along to day number six here. This one feels a little hefty. What a pretty little compact. That's precious. Look at that. That's so cute. It also has a nice weight to it, but it's just so pretty. That little like outer edge of florals. A durable. What is this? Oh, okay. Well, it, that, it is exactly what what I said it is. It's a compact. It literally is just a mirror. It's just a mirror compact. Um, uh, ooh, there's a peely thing on the front. That's always fun. Okay, so this is very cute. It's very pretty. It feels nice and elegant. It has like a nice weight in your hand. It also doesn't say like Jouet anywhere on it. It just has like the little logo in the center, which I personally prefer over like a super branded item. Um, but it is, it is just a compact. So, um, I, it's cute, but I really do wish this was like an actual product. Look real goofy on the back. Because it's rounded, it just distorts everything. Like, whoa, whoa. But it definitely is a reusable item, not like a, you know, a one use thing. And it's not like a little, a little Sephora mirror, you know, that we get in every single advent calendar we've ever received from Sephora. It looks like a child made it in some type of like kids crafting setting. All right, moving on here to day number seven. This does feel fairly lightweight. Oh, it's because it's tiny. It's because it's tiny. What? Oh my goodness, it's not even an eyeshadow. It's a, it's a highlighter. So this is definitely, there's no way this is a full size. It's in the shade ice, but it has a sticker on it that doesn't look icy whatsoever. Yeah, okay. Those, <laughs> the little like band sticker on the back and the inside could not be any different. This is basically like a pure white highlighter. Ew, okay. That's kind of interesting. So this Actually, if you guys can see it swatched there, um, it's actually more of like a duochrome highlight. So it shifts a little bit when you move it in the light. You can kind of see like a pink, mainly just, yeah, mainly just a pink, <laughs> a little bit of like a pinkish gold color to it. Um, it is pretty. I like that there's not big hunks of glitter in it. That's cute. I don't enjoy that. However, I am fairly pale and I really don't know how well this will work on deeper skin tones. It has like quite a white base to it. I don't know. Like the translucent setting powder shows up really, really pale on me and this is also super pale. So I don't know exactly how inclusive these items are. Uh, but yeah, we just have a little highlight here. I really am starting to feel like maybe I read that wrong and it didn't say all full-size items. I truly thought it was just gonna be like straight full-size items, but I must have read that wrong. Ew, okay, that's that's what's happened here. I've just, I've ignored the comma. That's what's happened. So it says filled with best-selling comma full-size products and exclusive items. So it's best-selling products full-size products and exclusive products. Not best-selling full-size products and exclusive items. There, there's a comma there. You gotta pay attention to the comma. So that's why not everything has been full-size in here. I feel kind of bad about that because it is not advertised as everything being full-size. So yeah, <laughs> that's definitely my bad. Sorry about that. So not all these items are going to be full-size items. So now I can reset my expectations to not receiving all full-size items. Sorry about that, you guys. I personally would love it if all these are full-size items in here, especially since you're not getting like a huge amount of value for what you're paying for the calendar. But I guess if they all were full-size items, then this calendar would cost a lot more money. So uh, let's go ahead and see what's next. I wonder what the exclusive items are. I really do. I wish there was like a way that it would tell us. All right, so day number eight is up next here and we have a little lip and cheek tint. This is in the shade Be Loud and again, a small item. <laughs> not full-size. Okay, well, you know, it's not a massive amount of product, but you do get some product. <laughs> some product. You do get some amount of product in here. This is 0.2 ounces worth of product. And I think it's a pretty shade. It is. I personally, I personally am not like a cream cheek person whatsoever. Um, I think it's a nice shade. It could make a nice lip shape. I personally, for me, think it's a little bit on the pink side. Day number nine is up next here. This one feels fairly lightweight, but the box is bigger. Ew, okay. So the next thing we have in here is actually a brush. Uh, I guess it's going to be a fairly small brush. It says that it is a travel size brush, which I would imagine so based on the size of the box. Ew, it's one of these little guys. So, oh, and it extendy little wait how do you use it hey okay i got it i got it now at first i was like oh wow like the wand extends and then the brush pops out uh but no i don't think so i think this little mechanism here is just so you can like physically get the brush back inside the cap because if this didn't slide over top of it then this would be nearly impossible to put back on so yeah just a little metal brush tube there with a fairly soft brush on the top of it Moving along here to day number 10 feeling again a little on the small side the shiny daggone gold lettering i can barely see it all right next up here we have an essential hydrating lip oil and again looking pretty tiny it's in the shade natural shine i'm gonna assume it's either gonna be like clear or just very lightly pink yes okay <laughs> it's 
so it is basically clear uh, with just the tiniest little hint of pink honestly I don't know if it's just like the doe foot that's pink and it's kind of making the oil look pink but this is itty bitty you get 0 0.07 ounces of fluid in here <laughs> fluid ounces of product um I do like the shape of the doe foot it looks nice and fluffy you know doughy why is there nothing coming off of the wand let me use my little compact here feel all fancy okay that's interesting I feel like you really don't get like a ton of product out of this as you're using it like I kind of had to scrub it on my lips to really get the product out which isn't great because if you're putting this like over top of another lip product because you want it just to look glossy then it's gonna do exactly what it did to mine and just kind of rub it off uh, but I'm guessing you know you maybe you're not supposed to use it that way maybe it's more of like a lip treatment or something you're supposed to wear on its own but I don't know it's just a lip oil it feels pretty standard on the lips and uh, yeah, I, I guess it's fine okay day number 11 is up next again feeling fairly lightweight fairly small all right okay next up here i just have another itty bitty tiny little thing of lip product this is a lip gloss in the shade rose claire it looks like a very like thick kind of pigmented lip gloss um again there is a super milky base <laughs> that sounds kind of gross i know it sounds kind of gross but i'm just referring to like the amount of white pigment in it it looks like there's a lot of kind of like pastel white pigment to it which personally isn't my favorite. It definitely washes me out. There it is, very lightly swatched next to the lip cream that we got. They're definitely in the same color family, so if you wanna put on the lip cream and like put a little bit of this on top, you definitely can, because I think they go very well together. I think I like the lip gloss like color a little bit more than I do the lip cream. It has a bit more of like a warmth to it, which I personally prefer. It is very pigmented, kind of thick, and I, I do think it's really pretty. I feel like a lot of people would like this lip gloss. It just, it's, it's really small. <laughs> this is a $150 advent calendar, and I feel like a lot of the things have been very small. So far, like, I got pretty excited when we started off with, like, a full-size translucent setting powder, and then we got that blush duo. I feel like since those first couple of days, we've been tapering off for sure. Things have been fairly small, you know, a lot of, like, smaller skincare items. We got, you know, just, like, a mirror. Um, so I'm hoping maybe for the last day, we're gonna, we're gonna see some nice big old makeup, even though this feels so lightweight. So the very last thing we have in here, day number 12, uh, let's go, let's go ahead and get on into it and, and see what we got. The very last product we have in this 12-day $150 advent calendar is an essential hydrating matte balm. Hydrating and matte together, that's interesting. It's in the shade matte zero zero, so I feel like we're not really going to see a color of any type. Yes. Okay, so what we have here appears to be just kind of a clear balm, a clear chapsticky balm. Um, I personally don't really know if I want my lips to look matte, if they're going to be clear. Or not my lips to be clear, but if I'm not going to have any color on my lips, I at least want them to like look juicy or like you know have some sheen to them I really don't want them to just look matte and dry maybe this is something you can use over top of other lip products to make them appear matte it says show lips and care with this nourishing next level moisturizing balm that comes in a universal shade clear I, yeah, I mean, yeah, that is universal. That, yeah, it's truly universal for a non-shiny, natural, healthy looking lips that are never dry. So I guess maybe some people's preferences are to have their lips like non-shiny, glossy, and that's great. I personally, my preference is to have some type of like gloss or sheen to my lips if I'm not gonna be wearing any lip color. Like I want them to look, you know, kind of juicy, healthy. Cause I already have chapped lips, so I don't want them looking dry or matte whatsoever. It does feel really nice, like gliding on. It's super smooth. I mean, I don't, I just don't know you guys. I, I personally would prefer something but that's not this. I, I think I like a little bit of shine. It makes my lips look bigger and more plump rather than something that is just matte. I feel like I'll look just like a little sickly with a matte, you know, a, a universal shade lip. Maybe if you have like a beautifully colored natural lip, like a super pigmented, very pretty lip and you just want like, you want it to look like you're wearing matte lipstick even though it's just your mouth while still getting hydration and like nourishment to your lips. And this could be for you, but maybe I personally just don't have a pigmented enough lip to carry this. I think it feels really nice. I do think it feels really nice. Super smooth, super soft. I could definitely see how it's hydrating. I just so desperately want to add some color or a bit of shine to make, you know, my lips look plumpier. All right, I'm going to put everything here together so you guys can get kind of one overview of everything that I received in the calendar. However, I am missing one product and I cannot find it. And if you think I potentially even have the memory power to be able to remember what I'm missing, I do not. Alrighty, so this is what we're looking at here for the Jouer Advent Calendar. This is everything you get for your $150. I've kind of separated things into like makeup and then more like skincare and tools down here at the bottom. I personally consider things like hydrating lip oils and like these types of things to be more of like a skincare item because it's just it's just for like lip nourishment and not so much like actual makeup but uh yes yeah, so this is everything i do like that there is kind of like half makeup half kind of skincare tools um i personally would prefer more 
makeup, especially full-size makeup like these items here over skincare and tools, but that is just my personal preference. However, I definitely prefer full-size items over like these small little items that we have received. And personally, I think there are far too many small kind of mini size items in comparison to the full-size items. I guess they're counting like these items here as full-size, but like it's a mirror and a brush. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, just ignore the pile of Ipsy's over there. We'll get to that eventually. Uh, but yeah, that is everything that you get for the $150 that you're going to spend on the Jouer Advent Calendar. So personally, you guys, I don't know, this might not be the calendar I would pick for myself. I would like something that's a bit more makeup forward, something that has more full-size items in it. This is a pretty expensive calendar and spend that much money and get so few full-size items isn't isn't personally my favorite. I do understand that Jouer is more like an expensive brand, so if all these items were full-size and this would be a much more expensive calendar. However, I just, I feel like personally, this isn't my favorite selection of items. So you're getting like a $60 value, but if you're gonna take your $100 to Jouer or buy stuff from their website, would you really pick these items? Like this, would these be the items that you would pick for yourself that you know you're gonna get the most use out of? Like the travel brush, the little compact mirror, stuff like that. Is that really where you put your money towards? That's what you have to think about when you're considering like the advent calendars that you wanna purchase and what you think is valuable. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I would love to hear all your thoughts and opinions. And uh, that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>